Oh, welcome, Mario Ponner, and I just returned from defeating the train boss, and I have reclaimed the cyber elf and completed my second town mission. Or my second regular mission, anyway. Thanks to you, the abducted cyber elf has been saved, and the enemy supply road has been cut off. Awesome! Thank you very much, Zero. We all this to you. Yeah, I know. The cyber elf rescued is only a child, but she is a unique cyber elf and will earn an awesome ability when she grows up. Raise her with love and care, and then devour her whenever you need her power. Yeah, I know, it's kind of like Pokemon. They kind of get conflicting messages in the morality department. So yeah, let's go see exactly what new power we got. I didn't really use that guy to slow down time, although that might have been a good idea. Then I might not have actually had to fail at all. I still have my A rank. Awesome. So I don't really have any new health elves, but... So... Tauten. Or Nef Margo. I have no idea what heck Taunt is supposed to do. I help in the damage zone. What what does that even mean? Half Margo reduce the boss's enemy, which is awesome, but not really necessary. <sighs> Sorry, so there's not very much to do right here. Oh wait, no, oh, god, I already know how to use a trans server, stupid energy crystals, yeah, you have to grind the crud out of those energy crystals. Wait, did that guy just say if you use cyber elves poorly? No seriously, that guy said if you use cyber elves poorly, they will turn on you. Oh, and also this old guy named Andrew, yeah, you can talk to him again. You can actually talk to him multiple times, and he says, wait, he's saying something different this time? What? I think this guy's memories are full of good. Yeah, that's weird. He gave us me a cyber elf the first time, which is a nice gesture. That guy's memories seem to be different every time. Weird. Weird. Too bad this isn't Mega Man Zero Two where I can capture EX skills because I'm level A, but this isn't Mega Man Zero Two. Like this baggage. Ah, uh, yes, because he's fat. The more you use a particular weapon, the more your skill on it will go up. Why don't you say something slightly more helpful, helpful sort of you, considering you're like every ever Mega Man Zero game? Oh, yeah. You can wall jump, hop off a wall, and if you time it just right. Dang it. Never mind. Or you can dash off a wall and, and make a really long distance jump, which is incredibly useful. No, seriously, it is. Let's see if CL has anything interesting to say to us. Oh yeah, missions. Do 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 do. Now. Not sure exactly which mission I should go after. I definitely want to go after rescuing Colbor yet, though, because that's probably one of the hardest ones. What the heck? I'll go after a shuttle. Some reploids have seen to jack the transport plane and now escaped. But the plane disappeared over the desert. The mad pressure in the desert, so we sent our scouts to look for them. Our scouts are having difficulties due to the hordes of enemies in the area. I'm sorry, but you go help out the rescue. Will you accept? Sure, why not? Save our stay here. And nice wavering effects in the background there. Here we have these snake enemies, which pop their heads out of the ground. There's a lot of ruins. And despite most deserts in fiction, there's no cactus. The transport the upwards are on has crash landed somewhere in the desert. Also, is that giant tank? That's a 
tank. Cool. Go help them out. Die, eagle. This actually... There's these bear traps, which can catch you off guard, but... Down there, there's a hole, which contains a, a place we'll be going to later. There are also these robo antlion things, which are annoying, and now I got a triple slash. And I never cyber elf. Actually, cyber elves get dropped by enemies, and if you kill enough of the same kind of enemy in a row, they'll drop a cyber elf. Up here, there's never cyber elf. So, awesome. I think it's a health increasing cyber elf, because they have different insignias. Health increasing cyber elf is like the most rare. Maybe you can find one that will increase your maximum vitality. Because we still have a little health bar from the previous games, like 16. Fortunately, enemies drop health quite frequently. And now here along we come to these tornadoes, which are being controlled by those mechanical things inside the center. We also have to look out for more bear traps and Guys. And the triple attack can actually hit those things. Yeah, let's we'll just charge up our cluster and Hadouken! Oh, yeah, and the shots can be blocked by those little pieces of metal. Yeah, I decided to go after this level because. The boss of this mission is relatively hard unless you have his weakness, but you know what? I really don't care. I always go after this boss in my, whenever I play this game, so let's go ahead and take it down. Welcome. My name is Anubis Necromancis III. Wait a minute. This is a girl? God. What kind of name is that? And you have to stick a, the third on it in the end just to sound popular. I work for Fenfear, one of the four guardians, and the king of destruction, the ruler of the desert. That bird's looking for her deep in the desert. If you wish to rescue them, you need to beat me first. And guard, old man! Or oh, old timer. This boss... is not exactly easy. Especially if you do not have his weakness. He likes to summon zombies and throw his staff at you. And he likes to fly across the screen and, and stuff. This boss. We're ro robots, anyway. And you have to hop up over these platforms, which tries to crush you with once you damage them enough. Wah! Don't do that. That's mean. save here, and if I mess up, I'll load up the save state, and I'll probably edit out any mess-ups. Takes a well-timed wall jump, and you can pop over these things, no problem. This boss is so much easier if you- it's one of those bosses which are so much easier if you have the weaknesses. Oh no, get your hands off me, you stupid zombie. Sorry if you mean so paranoid to save him, but if you don't have his weaknesses, this guy will probably kick you. Will, will probably slaughter you very quickly. Uh. Oh, gosh. And unfortunately, a triple attack holds him. I'll be editing that out. He only does that attack where he spins his staff across the whole screen if you're having a, if you have an A rank. Alright, so I'm close. Very close. Yes! And owned. 
Dang, that was a really awesome finisher. You know how I dashed into him and... Oh, Cybro. Get down here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyway, now we have my least favorite part of this mission. Yep, the second part of this mission is an escort mission. You have to escort this incredibly weak guy who can barely walk at all. All the way back through that place full of all the enemies without him getting des destroyed by all the attacks. This place, this mission, is... Well, it's not so much difficult as it is tedious. Very, very tedious. And you'll pro your health is probably going to down pretty quickly because you're going to be tr having to guard him against all these attacks. You're probably going to get your face full of enemy. And they even stick more enemies in the game on the way back. And you have to take out these traps and all this stuff. And this guy can barely jump either, so you have to take the lower path, which is most annoying in the later parts of the stage. Hey, you, come down here. Come down here and die. Yeah. Get. Apologize for safe stating so much, but you're pro actually it would be a better guy idea to go after a never mission first. First, the retrieve data mission, which is your, if it's your first time playing, but. You know, I always got through this mission because I don't really feel like grinding my saber up to a, ch to a charge shot yet. See? Yeah. Tried to get him. I won't let you get him. And here every snake guys proceed to be incredible. Annoying. a glitch. This normally that ground there pulls you downward, but it doesn't. Oh no, the bear traps! Ah, oh, get off! Ah, and there's one of these ant line things. I think uh, for the triple attack. He does hold you in place while you're doing it, and this guy tries to shoot you him right there once you pop out of the pit. So don't let him have the opportunity. Dude, dude, please move. I'm trying to be helpful. I mean, I'm strong and awesome, but you gotta at least try to walk forward and consistent with this. Thank God that guy's still dead. Hey, you, stay away. Stay away from me. I'm rescuing this guy. I have to go through this tedious escort mission. You should feel sorry for me, you stupid enemy. Yeah. I have to walk all the way back, and I can't even dash, I can't even walk at full speed. 